now let us discuss about converting regular expression into finite automata with the help of an example let the regular expression is epsilon then the finite automata is we require two states here let it be the final state so if we apply epsilon on this state then we can go from this state to the this state let the input symbol is a then also we require two states let it be the final state here the input symbol is a so on applying a on this state we will move to the final state next let the regular expression is a plus b then for representing a we require two states next to for representing b we require two states plus is called as union for union operation uh, we require uh, two more states and uh, then we need to apply epsilon here we need to apply epsilon next one is a dot b for representing a we require two states for representing b we require two states let it be the final state next this is concatenation operation between them we have to apply epsilon or we can concatenate these two into a single state or this can be written as so this is a and this is b so we can use this one or this one there is no problem we can we can combine these two into a single state now let us see the uh, last regular expression after that uh, we are going to solve an example let the regular expression is a star for representing a we require two states next uh, for representing a star we require two more states let it be the final state apply epsilon apply epsilon okay next uh, a star means zero or more occurrences so we can represent like this so if we apply epsilon on this state we will move to this state if we apply epsilon on this state we will move to this state so like this we can represent the regular expression uh, now let us see an example in order to convert uh, uh, regular expression into the finite automata let us see an example let the regular expression is uh, 0 0 0 0 plus 1 whole star into 1 1 plus 0 whole star okay so we can write this as uh, the first regular expression r1 is equal to 0 0 next r2 is equal to regular expression 2 r2 is equal to 0 0 plus 1 r3 is equal to r3 is equal to r2 star whereas r4 is equal to 1 1 r5 is equal to r4 plus 0 r6 is equal to r5 star next r7 is equal to r3 into r6 likewise we can represent with the help of seven diagrams but here for space constraints i am making this as a single diagram so first zero zero so for representing zero we, we need two states this is zero next we have one more zero so here i am not using any epsilon i am combining these two into a single state so this is nothing but zero zero this is nothing but zero zero yeah yeah in the upper side let us write 0 0 so this is 0 this is another 0 next this is for 1 this is for 1 next 0 0 plus 1 means uh, we require one more state we require two more states we need to apply epsilon 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 so this is nothing but 0 0 plus 1 next we have to represent 0 0 plus 1 whole star so for that uh, we require two more states on epsilon we will move to this state this is epsilon next this is epsilon so if we apply epsilon on this state then we can go to this state so with this 0 0 plus 1 whole star is over this is uh, dot operation concatenation operation next we have to represent uh, 1 1 plus 0 whole star 1 1 plus 0 whole star 1 1 plus 0 so for representing 1 1 we require two states 1 1 so this is 1 1 uh, we are combining these two into single state 1 1 plus 0 for representing 0 
for representing 0 we require one state next 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 epsilon we require two states this is first state and this is second state so this is nothing but 1 1 plus 0 so 1 1 plus 0 is over next we have to represent 1 1 plus 0 whole star so for that we require two more states this is the first state this is the second state so if you apply epsilon on this state we can go to this state if we apply epsilon on this state we can go to this state okay so 1 1 plus 0 whole star is over so in between them we, we are performing which operation multiplication operation okay directly we can uh, establish the connection like this okay or we can write epsilon here or we can combine these two into single state okay in this way we can convert uh, uh, a regular expression into the finite automata so th this is for 0 0 plus 1 whole star and this is for 1 1 plus uh, 0 whole star in between them we have a multiplication operation or we can eliminate this one into single state or we can write as like this okay it, yeah it is better to take one more state why because uh, we need uh, a transition from this state to this state so this is nothing but epsilon okay so in this way we can convert a regular expression into the finite automata 